Meet the Cardinals, the opportunity we have to talk to the Cardinal Stars to find out a little bit more about them, both on and off the court and all the way from Gold Coast, Queensland, Australia, Grace Varco. How are you? Very good, thank you. Really uh, good. All right, fantastic. That's a mouthful. Gold Coast, Queensland, Australia. So Gold Coast, the city, Queensland, kind of like the state, Australia. Yep. Is that how that works? That's exactly how it works. Oh, yeah. my goodness sakes. Took me a couple years to figure it out. Is it hard to believe this is your final home regular season game here at North Idaho College? I don't think we realized it until this morning, actually. We kind of just had the realization of coach saying it and then us being here and all the presentations of sophomore night. So it's really exciting, but it's kind of sad that being in the last yeah. game. In a nutshell, I know you probably haven't taken a whole lot of time to reflect on a little bit, but uh, we'll make it a little bit easier for you as it relates to going from your freshman year to now being a sophomore, being experienced. What, what have you noticed in yourself over the last uh, two years here at the college? Um, I think the confidence with just playing is the biggest thing. Uh, coming in, just I was always just very comfortable just in the key, and now I'm more comfortable moving uh, more around the court, and coach gives me a lot of support in doing so. So it, I feel a lot better doing that, shooting the ball and things like that. So I've, I'm really happy about that. And I noticed, I remember one time you squared up above uh, the line and launched a three to it. Holy cow, and it was nothing but net. You thought, man, this is kind of easy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, and that's the biggest thing as well. Coach has a lot of confidence in me to shoot the ball, and I, I'm getting it in myself. But, it, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with how they coach me and everything, so it's nice, yeah. It's you nice ever thought to yourself, I'm going to grab a rebound and take it all the way and lay it in? You ever thought of that before? I know, I know. People say that to me too. I get a lot of rebounds, but I don't, I don't exactly look up for myself. But I don't, I don't know. I think that's just the way I've been taught to play and the way I've played for a long time. Talk about your rebounding, because I don't think there's anybody, uh, uh, maybe as stormy as your equal as it relates to uh, got to get the ball type of thing. What's uh -huh. your philosophy on rebound? Because you battle underneath there. Yeah, I think that's just the way I find that um, where I get my play. And everyone has their specific areas that they excel in. And, you know, someone might be a shooter, someone might do this and that. But I, I just find that's my area that I, re I really enjoy and I feel comfortable rebounding. Um, I heard you say last like, couple of weeks ago to me that it's I'm not that athletic, but I just seem to be in the right position. I think it's moving before the ball instead of waiting for the shot to go up and then moving around. So, and it works because I'm quite strong. So, yeah. I hope you I hope you understand that that was not a, a negative. Oh no, not at all, not at all. No, I, I I appreciate that. I I know that I'm strong and I use that. So yeah, yeah. And I have to I have to chuckle. Uh, when when you uh, draw the charge, you just stand there and the people like bounce off you. And there was one game where it happened and you got a, a blocking foul and you had this look on your face. Now, what do you say to the officials? Because you talk to them a little bit and and, you, and with your accent and the like, do they kind of look at you and say, what? Yeah, uh, I think a lot of them are taken off guard by my accent. So they kind of just startle a little bit. But a lot of them know me by now as well and just say, Grace, Grace. But um, I kind of just say to them, look. They're half my size. They're going to fall over, not me. So it's not a foul. You know, I'm straight up. And when we look back on it in film, it, it's, it isn't a blocking. So, but I should learn to fall over and then maybe they might call the charge. But. And then they call you for a flop. <laughs> yeah, and then they call me for a flop So because it looks unrealistic. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. i got to ask you, too, uh, and, it, and I'm sure, as you just mentioned, you go back and watch the broadcast. Um, some of the angles that you are able to off the backboard into the basket is that something that you that you practice when you're you know going through uh, shoot arounds whatever the case because there is some angles that I go how in the heck did she get that ball in the hoop do you know every little spot on that backboard um, I think it's a lot of practice and Carrie makes us do a lot of um, inside post games uh, we do guards and posts a lot in practice um, and it's the composure I found that's what's really helped me is getting the rebound and just taking that extra second and really finding where you are, I find if I don't take that extra second, the ball's not going in the hoop. So that's the biggest thing. But I know what you mean. Some angles I, I question myself sometimes, but yeah, <laughs> goes in. <laughs> I'm surprised. I mean, they were awesome. All right, we got to talk about uh, off-the-court stuff. Uh, where does a career take you after North Idaho College uh, as it relates to potential career and as that relates to college play? Um, in terms of basketball, I'm not too sure. I... Would love to go somewhere warmer after this. Um, somewhere kind of. Wait, is this cold for you? <laughs> oh, it's freezing. <laughs> I'm so not used to it. It's freezing. But um, so that's probably more Florida, California, Hawaii. Um, hopefully that happens. I but... know what you want to do, but go ahead and finish. <laughs> 
But um, academically, I think I'm wanting to go into something like kinesiology or biomechanics, which is what one of the boys, Scotty, does. So um, his information's really helped me and kind of pushed me toward that as well. Yeah. I was going to mention hairdresser because you're kind of like the unofficial hairdresser for the for the girls. I know I am. I do all the braiding on the girls after the games or even before the games. They'll all, I always ask me to do braiding. I do it on myself too. But yeah, I love hair. What about Richie's hair? What do you think? What, what, <laughs> I could braid it probably. I could it's braid. kind of short. I'd have to grow it out a little bit. No, I could probably do it. No, yeah. A lot of the girls ask me to braid their hair all the time, but I really enjoy it. It's kind of just a fun hobby. On the side. And you do it on those long bus trips to Rangeley, Colorado. Yes, yes, those long 15-hour bus trips. I'll be, I'm not, not missing those. Uh, all right, what's the, what's the main food that you miss from Australia? I think the freshness and the fruit um, is definitely my favorite part. I find everything here is kind of like deep fried and like unhealthy. Every, yeah. every shop seems to be fast food and things like that. So I'd, I'd really love and like home cooking from my mum. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> a couple of animal questions. Why do koala bears sleep so much? I'm not sure. I mean, I don't. maybe they don't have anything else to do. They're not very... Well, maybe they are mobile, but I don't think... I don't know. And, why do, and what do kangaroos do when they get a hole in their pocket? <laughs> I don't know. That's a weird question. Well, they have their little joeys uh -huh. in the pocket. It's very... Uh, yeah, it's, I got a hole in my pocket. I'm going to lose my kid. Um... And finally, if you had an opportunity to sit across the table to talk to somebody, it can be an historical figure, could be a basketball player, could be anybody in the world, could be in the last 100 years, could be in the future, it could be uh, Batman, I don't know. If you had a chance, who would you talk to and what would you ask that person? The first person that comes to my mind is J.K. Rowling. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. And why did, and why did Ron marry Hermione instead of Harry? I don't think it, it was. I don't think it was meant to be. I don't know. Spending yeah. that much time together, it wasn't really a romance type of thing anyway. But I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, so I'll probably meet J.K. Rowling. Another book's coming out in July, yeah. so she's starting the new series again, yeah. and I'd love to meet her and see her thoughts behind the whole series. So. And, and finally, shout out time. Anybody want to say shout out to? Uh, just Dad, Diana, Mum, and Steve at home, and the kids, pretty much. Yeah, that's it. Say hello to them for me. <laughs> Everybody down under, and I believe Everybody it's summer in Australia. Isn't it? it is summer in Australia, so my brothers come and come here, and he's all tan, and I'm just, you know, sitting in the freezing cold. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll get over it. That, ladies and gentlemen, Grace Varco, another edition of Meet the Cardinals.